Hello, 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 and welcome to hopefully another edutaining episode of Create Simple Meals. Well, you know, we only have those three rules. You must have passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. So today we um, are going to do some deep fried stuffed salmon balls. Uh, I don't know how this idea came in my head. Well, actually, yeah, I do. I'm going on a camping trip, and I needed to test out doing salmon patties on a griddle because I didn't want to deep fry them. Um, or I, I didn't want to take pans with me. So I was sitting there doing it. I'm like, okay, I need to go and test this. And this idea got in my head about, I was thinking about the, the uh, salmon pinwheel I did a few weeks back. And so I was like, I wonder how this would be as a salmon ball. So today, we're going to do this, uh, this uh, stuffed salmon ball. So first, we're going to saute some onion, celery, and bell pepper. And that's about... Uh, a quarter cup each of the onions, the celery, and the, the, uh, the bell pepper. And while we let this pan get back up and saute these, folks, please, 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 if you're on YouTube, please subscribe there and hit that uh, notification bell so you know we're on. Please like and follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to tap into us on TikTok. For this recipe and all previous recipes, visit CreatesimpleMills.com. Email me directly at askme at crazyfulmills.com. Hit that chat button while you're on there so you can talk with me directly and share this with your friends and your family. Hey, what up, though, Devon? Appreciate you for tuning in. So we was having some technical difficulties earlier, folks. Sorry about the delay. Um, one of the uh, show's producers, the self-employed tax guy, was over here. We're trying to get some new cameras. So, Lord willing, a week or two from now, we have some way clearer uh, videos. But anyway, while doing that, we must have knocked something off so the, the YouTube feed was going, but the Facebook feed wasn't. All right, so we sauteing these uh, bell peppers and onions. Go and give them a little seasoning, too. You're going you're gonna to season as you go along. And you're just sauteing these until they get uh, just soft. You ain't, you ain't trying, to, trying to fry them. Just trying to saute them until they get soft. And while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and start over here as well. So, to make the balls, once this is sauteed, we're gonna mix in uh, about four ounces of cream cheese, along with, uh, you know what, grab me an egg. Uh, four ounces of cream cheese, we're gonna add in some um, garlic powder, some, some uh, uh, Creole season, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and some uh, hot sauce. Fold that in with an egg, Add in some, um, some uh, what's that, Parmesan cheese and some panko breadcrumbs. Then we're going to roll that into a ball. Then we're going to put them in the refrigerator and let them cool down for a minute because they need to firm up. And then we're going to go on fry them. Now, because I know y'all do not feel like sitting here watching me uh, wait for us these balls get cold, I've already pre-made some, so we'll get to make that a whole lot faster. All right. Thank you. Turn this off. I mean, my fryer is ready. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and shut this off. And I said, now we're going to start up. Hey, what's up, uh, Tyrone? Appreciate you for tuning in. So we're going to go ahead and start with the rest of it. So let's add in about a teaspoon of uh, Creole season, teaspoon. There's a chef that says, if you ain't uh, <coughs> sneezing, you ain't seasoned. Well, I guess I must be seasoned because I'm sure I'm sneezing. Try <coughs> to hold back here. All right, teaspoon of garlic. We're going to add about, who's that? A little bit of this Worcestershire sauce. So you want a tablespoon of that, so that's three teaspoons. Don't feel like dirty and extra stuff up. And a teaspoon of hot sauce. Now I'm using uh, Old Bay hot sauce, and I'm using Lee Perrine, guess that's how you pronounce it, Worcestershire sauce. Now, let's go ahead and start mixing this up some. And grab this egg. And 
we're going to mix this all up. Add into that that uh those vegetables. Alright, now once that get all ooey and gooey, grab me a glove. Now you're gonna add in a can of salmon. Now, some of y'all don't like the skin on the salmon. Some of y'all you're going to see the bones in there. I'm going to tell you right now, I've been making salmon for God knows how long. Them bones have been pressurized to death and back, so I've never taken mine out. But I know some of y'all, that's what you prefer to do. So you buy more, all means, go and do that. But for us here, we're going to go and just crack this up like that. And then you're going to just mix this all in together. Now to that, you want to add in about a third cup of panko, because you need something to bind this with. So that's what that egg and panko are going to do. And we're going to do about a third cup of Parmesan. And we're going to just fold that all in together. Now once you get to this step, you would roll these into uh, into little balls and let them chill out in the refrigerator for a while until they firm up. But we're not doing this. We're gonna go ahead and put this off because another thing about this particular recipe, it also does well uh, to freeze them. So I'm gonna roll these up later on after the show, put them in the refrigerator, and I'm gonna freeze them. And then later on down the line, I want a quick appetizer. Some of the fellas is over. I can pop these out, let them thaw out, put them in the flour, put them in the egg wash, put them in some panko and fry them. But let's go and get to that part right now. Let me put this away. And let's go ahead. Move this out of my way here. And go ahead and grab these that we already have prepared. Now, boy, I can't wait to get these, these new cameras. Well, if y'all saw us the other day when we was testing them, I was like a kid in a candy store. Now, one of my, my favorite uh, food show contestants, uh, he ended up winning, uh, Aaron McCargo. The reason I always remember this way to do this is because of him. So the acronym is February. So you dip in your flour first. Then you're going to dip in your egg wash, which is nothing but a um, little bit of water and, the, and an egg. Tablespoon of water, tablespoon of egg. So the way it works, you want to put it in your flour first. Get that floured up. Then you want to put it in your egg wash. And then from there, then you put it in your batter, which is the bread crumb. So February. Flour, egg wash batter if you were doing another uh, if you was actually using flour as a batter it would be flour egg wash and flour again but the last part is basically a batter so again do a couple of these egg wash and the reason you want to put them in the flour first is that i'm sorry in a yeah you really want the flour first it's going to help that egg to stick better and help for these bread crumbs to adhere a whole lot nicer. We're going to do two more of these. Flour. Into that egg wash. And into this batter. One more. Let me go. We'll be moving. Uh oh. I did that one. Wrong. On that one, we did egg wash, flour egg wash, and then back to the batter. 
All right. Now, these are appetizers. Um, that would be great for football season, any parties you're having. But what I'm serving mine with tonight um, is a risotto that I made. And I'll probably play it and put a picture up on the, on the website. But I made some risotto with some uh, grape tomatoes in it. And I'm going to use that. So let's go on over to this fryer. Got a fryer nice and hot. Let's go ahead and drop these in there. Echo, set timer, five minutes. We're going to let them fly about five minutes or so. And while I'm at it, or waiting on that, I'm going to go ahead and keep on. Actually, no, I'm not. Those already rolled up. I was going to say I was going to roll up the other ones, but I'll do that later. Now, so another thing you can do if you go to the, uh, once you go to the website, to createsimplemeals.com, you'll see on there, uh, at the bottom corner, is a rumelot sauce. So what I would serve these with if I was doing a dessert is a rumelot. So for the rumelot, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of Dijon uh, mustard, some uh, capers, um, hot sauce, paprika, mix that on up, put it in the refrigerator, let them, let them cool down. And that's what I would uh, serve this with. As always, folks, this show is brought to you by the Self-Employed Tax Guy, the first ever tax company built from the ground up for you and me. Seth Lodge Planning for all your current and future travel needs. Hit up Seth Lodge Planning for you by me, the Creative Designs. For all your unique gift ideas, hit up for you by me, Creative Designs. And by Petty Phrases, custom-made t-shirts. If you got something to say, go say it with your chest. Now, with, when you frying these, you more or less just frying them to, um, I mean, salmon is pretty much cooked. So, the only thing you really have to cook on this is the, is the, the, the egg, which is already done. But you just want to cook them long enough and the heat all the way through and for um, them to get golden brown. Not too, too dark, though. Gonna start giving me. Now, if I can turn this down. And when, when y'all get a chance, email me your comments. I, I tried another another screen setting today with this three in one, because I noticed when I'm on, over at the fryer, I'm constantly turning my back to y'all. So I was playing with something a little different today. The chef and owner and one of my favorite cousins of Simone's Kitchen ATL. So if y'all down in the Birmingham, Atlanta area, because she's always moving, she's back and forth. Y'all make sure y'all go on uh, try out Simone's Kitchen ATL. Matter of fact, that uh, that uh, crawfish grilled cheese I did uh, a few weeks ago was inspired by Simone's Kitchen. All right, let me go and test these. Because the five minutes rule is uh, a guesstimate. And the reason it's a guesstimate is because I literally just created this uh, recipe <laughs> over the last couple of days. So I couldn't follow nothing and say, oh, how long are we going to fry it to? So I'm thinking five minutes should be sufficient. Where my beer go? Hey, Whitney, as soon as uh, Tyrone showed me how, we're going to go ahead and put what I guess he called him a lower third, and we're going to run that SK banner right around the bottom of it. <laughs> Echo, how long left on my timer? 
50 seconds. Let's go and stop this then. Echo, stop the timer. Go and get these a drain. Now, if you don't want to use uh, salmon, I'm letting these uh, cool off on me. If you don't want to use salmon, I just encourage me, you could use uh, crab meat, you can use ground up uh, shrimp, um, or pretty much any other uh, ground up fish, but we're using salmon today. It's, it's funny, my uh, my cousin is on. I'm looking at these, the size of these, these uh, was supposed to be bites and how big they are. So one year I went to the classic and I was opening her out and I was trying to do her, her egg rolls. <laughs> Needless to say, my her egg rolls when I was doing <laughs> was way too big, couldn't even get them closed because I'm a very heavy handed person. So when doing these, if you want to stretch it and make them more bite size, what I would recommend is get either a small ice cream scooper, a little bit bigger than a melon ball, or even a tablespoon, and use that. I eyeballed these when I was uh, doing these last night, so that's why we got these boaters. So it's going to be way bigger than appetizer. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste test. And hope the heck I don't burn my mouth. Mmm! I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Part of me was nervous because I ain't never fried really with cream cheese before, but I know uh, what's them things, the Asian the, uh, little wontons, the ragouts. I know those have cream cheese, so in my head I thought it was gonna work, but I really thought, like, you taking a risk doing this live, I was gonna have a runny mess on here. But I'm telling you right now, the season is on point. The Parmesan cheese, along with that cream cheese, give it a nice, you have the, the, the creaminess of the, of the cream cheese, give that nice mouthfeel, but then that Parmesan got the little pungentness, so it's not so, um, I don't know, bland. Creole season, you might want to kick it up a notch, it's up to you. I stick with, the, with the, uh, the teaspoon, but feel free to go ahead and play around with it. And when you do, don't forget to email me at askme at crazy meals and let me know how you, how you did. As always, folks, you know here on this show, we only got those three rules. You must have passion, you must have patience, and you must be willing to practice. So, until next Tuesday, y'all send me some more ideas. We'll bring you another entertaining episode real soon. Love y'all. These are good. I shot. <clears throat> shot myself with this one. Oh, I gotta roll some more. <laughs> You know what I mean? I gotta buy some more, I mean.